Hi, I'm Carrie Stevens. Author of Unrated Revelations of the Rock and Roll Centerfold. I'm just a magazine. Yeah, you just smile in the picture sales. Look what that does to And you're listening to Play That Rock and Roll. gripping and intense parts of your book is when you write about your relationship with John Elway and all the ups and downs there. I found that to be, I mean, I'm sure that was very painful to relive and to write, but I found it to be very brave to put that out there, especially because I think, and I wonder if you agree with well, this. I could have said a lot worse things, believe me, so. Oh, I, yeah, I do. I believe that. Now, do you think that sharing those stories in your book is something that other women can read and apply to their lives and yes. sort of, you know, know the signs of, you know, abuse and mistreatment and know how to um, recognize that well, thing in their lives. A lot of women, uh, friends of mine who have read the book start texting me and when they get that chap get to that chapter mm -hmm. and like, or like, Oh, he was just like my ex. Da, 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 da. Um, so, you know, Unfortunately, you know, there's more where he came from. Yeah. Um, you know, but he had his good points, but unfortunately, um, like I explain in the book, it's hard to remember, you know, the good stuff once you bury a relationship and you get over it. And it's been so many years that I had to go, what did I see in him anyway? I know I was in love with him. It must have been something. So I had to like dig to like try to remember like, <laughs> why. And then, um, but yeah, there was a lot of uh, a lot of like abusive um, fights there, unfortunately. Cause they were, you know, and uh, yeah, I still remember some nasty things that he said. And unfortunately, like I wish I could go to a hypnotist and forget what people say to me sometimes. Like, for instance, like, you know, I don't even remember if this is in the book. I, like, every day I think of more things that I could have put in the book that I forgot to put in the book. So mm. now I'm, like, so confused. And I'm like, was that in there? This is, but, yeah, like, one time, I, you know, he said to me, like, you know what, Carrie? You know, you don't know how to be loved because no one's ever loved you. Mm -hmm. You know, just, like, hurtful, rotten stuff. So yeah. I really hope. I really hope if I ever in a relationship again, <laughs> you know, that I find someone that doesn't say stuff like that. And I, I hope I don't say things like that to people because you know what, it's very easy. I guess, you know, when you fall in love, I think it brings out all your stuff, yeah. you know, and you end up taking things out on the people that you love the most. Um, so I think that he hadn't healed from um, some losses in his life, a divorce and a, losing his sister to cancer and his father to heart attack. You know, I think he was processing a lot of pain and I think um, he would drink too much and, and, and aim it all, all of his hurt on me. And I think he did, he did realize that in the end, but it was, you know, it was too late, but he, he realized he needed to get help and work on himself. And, and he said to me, I, I wish I had met you much later after I had, worked all this stuff out mm -hmm. the damage was like done and you know so i don't keep up with him you know but i know he's married now mm -hmm. so hopefully hopefully he worked his stuff out and hopefully he's having a healthy relationship i wish him all the best and and believe me the first uh, version of my book was not so kind about him um but i did and i did have interestingly my male friends who proofread it, read it for me wanted me to keep all of it. And my publisher wanted me to say even worse things. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it before I self-published it. And I said, you know, I'm not writing this book to take anyone down. Mm -hmm. You know, not that I can take John Elway down. He's much, you know, too rich and powerful for little old me to take down, you know, but so what would be my point, you know, to, uh, smear him uh more to hurt his feelings more i mean i think 
if, if he read the book, and I don't know if he did, he knows what I know. I knew that he wouldn't be mad because he knows that it could have been a lot, <laughs> the things I said could have been um, a lot worse. So I'm sure he wasn't thrilled about it, but he also um, knows I did him a favor by not getting into other things that I could have. Well, I mean, at the very least, hopefully he stopped with that sort of behavior. And I think it's brave that you did include even some of the harsher stories in the book because, you know, oh, we... You know, there, there, there was much harsher. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, there, but but you, was, did, you, you wouldn't want to skip I it entirely. In that chapter, there were so many... I, I had to... Like, it was really long. Like, yeah. it was just like... Um, horror story after horror story after horror story. And yeah. it's funny because I would read, I, every time I wrote a chapter, I would call one of my friends that was in my life, you know, around that time. And I would read it to them to see if they remembered anything, you know, that I wow. wasn't remembered. And they all remembered like more about our fights than I did. They were like, what about that time he did, 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 did? And I'm like, oh yeah. So wow. yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot of them. Well, you know, we gotta be as a, as a society, we've got to be able to talk about, you know, abuse and mistreatment. And, you know, if you were to skip all that entirely, he would just get away with it. And, uh, you know. Well, he did get away with it, uh, with me. And like I said, oh, I right. think yeah. he's probably healed. I mean, he's married for a long time now. I, I yeah. think she would have left him if he was treating her the way that, well, I don't know what she'd do. I don't know her personally. But, um, yeah, yeah I, I actually put up with a lot before I finally um it was it was hard. I really wanted it to work. I yeah. really did. The the o the only story I remember from that chapter that wasn't like really unpleasant was uh was one that was kind of funny and I'm really glad you did include it was about when you met Peyton Manning. Could you tell <laughs> could you tell us about what meeting Peyton was like? Well, that's um that that I never told. I think I said this in the book. I never told John about it. I kind of wished I did later, but I knew his ego would be so like deflated. So I was sparing his feelings. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, because he spoke. He was supposed to be, you know, the big deal, you know. And 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 I met Peyton with John several times. You know, like at Super Bowls, Sports Illustrated parties, events. You know, so you know. He knew I was John's girlfriend, mm -hmm. yet, um, you know, pursued me uh, in Hawaii at a Pro Bowl and had a friend come and get, well, uh, on the presence of inviting my friends and I to a party, got my number, and then he's, it was Peyton that started calling. And I'm like, uh, you know, because I knew he was there with his wife, and I'm like, where's your wife? And he's like, oh, on the balcony. And I'm like, you do know that um, I'm John. Anyway, so then he started like texting. He wanted me to meet him in Denver. He had some business in Denver. And I'm like, do you want to read like a triple murder story like in the papers? <laughs> like, like he, John will kill us. And uh, that's crazy. So, of course, I didn't go. Um, and then. I can't remember now. I think John and I might have been broken up fighting. I can't, there were so many fights. I don't remember what, what stage we were in. But um, then we, because we did, we, I remember we were together after that because I was, I was really tempted to like tell him like I told you, but I knew John's fragile ego. So I opted mm -hmm. to not, because everything pissed him off. Like you have to understand, like he would have not ended up mad at Pete in it he would have been mad at me. Like whenever anyone gave me attention, mm -hmm. like if someone came up and asked, asked for my autograph or knew who I was, he would get crazy and accuse me of telling them like who I was. And I was like, um, this event was advertised and now everyone knows I'm your girlfriend. So when people show up with my magazine to sign it, it's because they read that you're going to be there and they know I'm your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't take out an ad and print papers that I was going to be here. But like he couldn't share the spotlight, you know, like he didn't, he didn't want me getting any attention. So that would have really crushed him. And he would have accused me. Uh, I would have been, it would have been my fault somehow. So later on, you know, it was way after we broke up when I read that he hired Peyton for the Broncos. And I just got a kick out of that. Cause I was like, huh, if I had said something, I could have changed the entire course of, football 
I think I could have changed his career, like had I opened my big mouth. And I said it jokingly in the book, like, yeah, he, Peyton should thank me for his career, um, which was, a, uh, that was a joke. And I almost took it out, but then um, a couple of my proofreaders and editors, men, uh, told me that it's, it's common knowledge about um, Peyton Manning being a notorious philanderer. So I wouldn't, they, they were like, you're not saying anything like people don't already know him for and I was like oh okay because I don't keep up with football I've never seen a game since John and I broke up I never saw a game before him it's not my thing so mm -hmm. I have like you know well as as a, I am a football fan and what it, the story is so wild to me because the one thing that John Elway is like sort of accredited for in his new role in Denver is bringing Peyton Manning everything else has been a disaster. So you could have taken away, if you had told them that, you could have prevented the one thing he gets credit for, which is oh too funny. Good for you, bud. <laughs>